Welcome to part two of the Amateur Traveler video edition talking with Felipe Hernandez, a weaver from Oaxaca, Mexico, who was both my tour guide here at Mitla and other places and also showed us the art of weaving. The biggest, the widest uh, rock would be uh, two and a half feet. Uh -huh. On this one, it's ten feet wide. Then the length is, we can do it 12, 13, 14, or 15. Now, what are you doing with your feet here? The feet, these are the pedals uh -huh. that uh, makes to open the warp. Ah, okay. And then once the warp is opening, that's the way we change, uh, we change the, how do say thread? Okay. We change it and make the, des the design of the pattern. Now you design the pattern beforehand, but there's there's no it's, a, it's just in your head. It's just in my head, <laughs> right? When once I'm weaving and making the pattern, or when uh, we finish the work, I just uh, take a photo and then I make it. Uh, the photo and then I can copy from the photo. Okay, if I add uh, a lemon juice on this, we'll change the color right away. Hmm. Ah, this is the lemon yeah. juice. Right. Right now this is like purple. With the lemon juice. I told you we change the color right away. Huh. <laughs> and then just leave it. In half an hour, we turn to the orange. Hmm. Not many people can uh, get the uh, the dyes from vegetables. In each uh, vegetable, is different process. Hmm. But uh, this is the famous color. It's changing. Hmm. This pattern means when you were in Mitla, you. I saw this pattern on the wall, carved on the stones. And this is the cactus. The cactus is because in the valley, uh, people use the cactus to make the mezcal. And it's a lot of cactus on this area. Therefore, and you were saying in this one you can see the cochineal? Cochineal, marigold, alfalfa with pomegranate skin, are uh, one of shells and indigo. Hmm. On this one, we have all of the colors we use. Actually, I have like eight or ten colors that the mass is useful. 
The price is depends on the pattern and the size. The pattern because a pattern like this one is more complicated than a pattern like this one? Uh, like this one. Okay. To make this one takes like four days just the weaving. One day for, to set up the loom and uh, two, three more days to dye the wool. So, so those are the synthetic dyes? The synthetic dyes, the bright colors. You will never get the uh, bright colors from a uh, vegetable. It's always bright color on synthetic. Hmm. If somebody will tell you this is the cochineal, this red, no, that's not true. This is a synthetic, this, uh, all these colors are synthetic. The natural dyes as is always earth tones. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the Amateur Traveler Video Edition. Check out the website for the weekly audio show focusing on the best in travel destinations or other episodes of the video show. Thanks for watching.